you had mobs of young Arakan, mobs of young Rohingya roaming the streets, committing random acts of violence, beheadings, stabbings, people basically going to their neighbors' houses, pulling people out of the house, beating them to death. You also had entire quarters of cities, like the capital city, Sitwe, burned to the ground. There was almost no action by the authorities to prevent the violence. As local communities recognized that the authorities weren't going to intervene to protect them, they started to then arm and try to protect themselves. Uh, and this, in fact, escalated the violence. Bangladesh has a responsibility under international customary law to receive these people. They should open the borders, they should provide at least temporary protection to them, they should work with the international community who is prepared to provide support and assistance to these people fleeing uh, to Bangladesh. The international community has been so engrossed in the political changes that are going on and Aung San Suu Kyi's tour of Europe that it's been unwilling to really look at the reality of the situation on the ground for many ethnic minorities in Burma. And this is a real mistake. I think people shouldn't be charmed into thinking that just because there's a parliament now that's passing a few laws that things are all okay in Burma. This is a test case for this new government, how it actually deals with these cases of sectarian violence. Is it going to address the long-standing grievances and the discrimination that the Rohingya have faced for decades in the country? And is it going to finally offer citizenship to the Rohingya?